Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Preparing. Uh, so the idea basically is to be able to infer the depth of a sedimentary basin from gravity observations. So uh, the whole idea of, of this particular implementation would be to create a model, which is um, a, a prism layer from scattered uh, gravity observations, right? So yeah, we we drafted this notebook, which is not documented at all, but yeah, hopefully it did the job. Um, so we, we start by creating some synthetic uh, basin, uh, with, it is a checkerboard. So we, we create the checkerboard uh, predictor just to generate the synthetic um, basin and some coordinates for uh, for the grid of the of the basin, and we can put here the basin surface, which basically uses the checkerboard to predict on the grid, and we take so th the checkerboard creates an oscillating uh, basin basically, uh, but around zero. So we shift it like uh, four kilometers down, and then what we do is. Um, we assign the density for the basin and build a prism layer out of it, um, what generates this data set. So the top of the basin is zero. So it's the topmost surface is uh, zero constant and the bottom one oscillates. And if we can plot it here, we have this 2D oscillation that looks like a checkerboard and that's why the name. Um, so here, what we do next is to compute the, the synthetic gravity, the data that we are going to use. So we compute the gravity through the, the prism layer dot gravity method. And we get basically this, uh, this data frame that would be our synthetic data for, for our inversion. Uh, <clears throat> until now, it's all how to create synthetic data for the implementation. And then we move on to actually implement the inversion. So we basically this inversion uh, is a nonlinear one because we are inverting the, the the geometry. So there is the the system, the the formal is not linear on that parameter. Um, so we have to start with a uh, initial guess for our basin. And we define like a prism layer with constant uh, bottom surface at located at one kilometer deep. So if you can see it here, the top is zero and the bottom is also constant, but at one kilometer depth, right? This is our initial guess for this basin. And we also assign a density to each one of these prisms. So, we started drafting the Jacobian and doing some, uh, yeah, drafts here. But I, I can move on to the final implementation we had yesterday. Basically, we have two functions: one that builds the Jacobian matrix, and another one that actually applies the inversion. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how to put it, but. Yeah, let, let's start with how it, I would run this code first. So this is the the function that I would I would call to to run the inversion, asking the coordinates and the data. These are the uh, observation coordinates and the observed data. Uh, we need to pass this initial model that we predefined, and some arguments like how many times I would I would like to run the iterations for this inversion which field I want to invert, and if I want damping. And the delta is, um, is a parameter to uh, use to compute the Jacobian, right? How thick will be the small prisms that we are going to use to obtain the Jacobian? So basically, we uh, define this model as a copy of the initial model. And then we run this inversion 
in in a for loop we start by computing the gravity field generated by this initial model uh and on each one of the of observation points we compute the residuals as the data minus the predicted ones so this is basically is how bad your like like in in gravity but how bad is the model you had estimated right and we now have to define the jacobian matrix uh which calls this function here so basically the jacobian matrix is like a sensitive matrix where each um each element of this 2d matrix is how uh how, it's basically how the 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 gravity field changes on one observation point if I change one uh, the, the geometry of one prism, right? So it's like uh, for each prism and for each observation point, you have these elements, right? Um, so yeah, we we pull some clever stuff here, like making a generator, which doesn't allocate memory, but uh, but returns pris the, each prism and each density by request. And then we actually build a Jacobian by computing the gravity field of a small tesseroid, the, sorry, a small prism that is around the bottom surface. Uh, and we use the delta to define that, that small prism. And once we compute the entire Jacobian matrix, we go back here and we can apply two things uh, like steepest, steepest descent that it's going down the gradient, or we can apply Gauss Newton that it's slightly more expensive because we have to solve a linear problem, right? And once we have like this step, which is like how many. Uh, um, yeah, how, how much do we need to add to the bottom to actually be able to obtain the, the true model? We <clears throat> add this step to the to the bottom surface of the prism layer, right? And we can run this uh, in as many times as we want. We found that with two, this actually works pretty well. So I can define these two functions and run the, the inversion. It takes just less than one second, I think. And then we can plot the bottom surface of the inverted model, and it doesn't work, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably I missed it. Uh, let's try it with the... Let's see what happens. Oh, sorry. No, I'm... Yeah, you probably changed the delta. With... Yeah, probably screw it here. Let's go stupid at this end again and put delta equal to one here. Oh, come on. And I know the problem is somewhere else, probably. Hmm. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's try with the, the, the other yeah. one. It looks fine, Santi. Yeah? Yeah, now, now. Yeah, I mean, now, now it's better, yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah, with uh, steepest descent, you usually need more iterations. Okay. Um, yeah, and I have a question here, but I, I will ask it later, probably. Um, so, yeah, let's Gauss Newton, it works. And I think you should work with delta 0 0.5. I don't know why you should. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it's not the delta problem. Um, okay, so yeah, this is like a prototype for it. Um, yeah, do you what do you think? <laughs> Any question? <laughs> yeah, all that in one meeting. Yeah, I have to say that we're. Yeah, Leo was just 
remembering this code, not actually <laughs> going from scratch, I think. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I've written variations of this several times <laughs> already in the past. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, sh shall I stop the recording now? Yeah, if you want to, no problem. Yeah.